Hey YouTube, what's up? Um, Ross Rasta here from Team Wattmole, ready to uh, give you a deck profile on one of the hottest decks this format, which is Grave Keepers. Um, this deck is on fire. It's uh, topping in every YCS. It's sweeping away the competition. Well, it's not really, but it's it's really good, like really good. Um, so we'll start off with monsters. Uh, three recruiter staple. You just gotta run three. Um, get your searches out, helps you recover with the tail end, um, catch up, some descending plays and stuff like that. Um, just really good. Um, two descending, uh, because you, you really only need one to win with Gravekeepers. Um, Gravekeepers, you set up and then you make your one push. So as long as you get that one descending, whether, you know, a spy special summon or whatever, like, you're good. <laughs> um, I run three three commandant, um, we just need that first string necro valley, it's, um, like, amazing, uh, plus, like, if you already have necro valley out, throw it down, 2100 beats a tick, um, all around good card, um, uh, a spy, three spy, staple, gotta run three, pro like, godly card, wall three, 2500, like, not that much can run over it, um, and then if it lives for one turn, like, it just plus is like no other. Um, plus it's 1700 attack with, uh, Necro Rally out, so you can beat down if need be. Um, for spells and traps, well, spells first, you have three Necro Rally, um, it's a really good card. Um, you can try running two, uh, for the first game, just, you know, hope that they don't, you know, add too much spell and trap removal. And you should be fine, especially for running three commanding. Um, two royal tribute, um, card wins game. Like simple as that. Like first turn royal tribute with like a fifth spy, like you win. Like you win. Um, three pots of duality um, helps search out your monsters. Um, really good card in GKs because like you can open up crappy and uh, if you don't have monsters, you just basically lose these GKs. So it really helps. Uh, start the GK engine running, um, which, you know, brings you into stealth, um, it recycles your GK, so once you got that engine running, uh, like, it really, like, helps out your GK, so then finally we have, um, Dark Hole and Book of Moon, which are really good, and Book of Moon's really good in Gravekeepers, just because, you know, Book Spies, you know, and Phase of your opponent's turn, flip it again, or, like, during the battle phase, it's really good. Traps, um, two bottomless, really good, you know, <coughs> removal, it's great, this format. Um, one dark vibe, uh, you know, protect your back row, protect your monsters. I mean, it's a minus one, but like, heavy storm, yeah, I'll take that minus one to not lose to your back rows. Um, one deep priz, I should probably be running two, but one, one or two is fine, I think. Um, Two Starlight Road really protects against like Black Rose, Torrential, like you just need Starlight Road so that like Gravekeepers can maintain field presence. And then this is my Solemn Brigade, um, this uh, Black Horn of Heaven is kind of uh, my pseudo warning until I get a second one. And then I have Staple, Torrential, and Miracle, especially in GKs. And then I have some tech traps which are two Evoker. Uh, which, uh, like, it slows your opponent's decks down, like, uh, plants, you just book, I mean, you will boku, and, like, they can OTK you, and so, like, you get, get out, like, a spy search off, and then, then you, like, bite back next turn, because, like, a big problem with GK is, like, they can't really respond to, like, really quick changes in the game, so, will boku really brings, like, opponent's decks down speed-wise, and it gives me time to react. And then also, I run three compulsory, which I know is crazy, but um, it uh, like it pluses really well. Like your opponent synchros, nope. You know, back to hand. Uh, your uh, agents going to Gachi, nope. Uh, and like opponents going to Gachi, try and ram Venus into like my descendant, something like that. Boom. Uh, all of a sudden, like it's a plus like two or three even. Like it's a really good card. And then for the side deck, uh, kind of
kind of crappy. <laughs> but um, one kinetic soldier, one fossil dyna, one chaos hunter. Um, chaos hunter is pretty good against like agents and they remove a lot and never actually use this to uh, to good results. But uh, I just like the way the card looks. So. Two bulk of moon. Um, really useful against mirror matches and stuff like that that have a lot of background so um, yeah you need that against tgs and stuff like that um, leeching to life it's wrecked agent in dls uh, you get destroyed by this if like if you don't get otk like you can otk him back um, macro cosmos really good against dark worlds and stuff and i don't really have much side against Dark Worlds, except for Gemini and some Microcosmos, so that's my stuff. Light and Sickening Mirror, you know, Agents and Fables really destroys them. Uh, Changed Appearance, good against a ton of decks, like including Plants and uh, Agents and everything like that. Um, and then finally, um, this is the uh, best part of the deck, hands down, which is Triple Gozen and Triple Rivalry which may seem excessive at first, but like against plants or any like fabled, like you could just like activate goes and activate rivalry and like they just like the opponent just sitting there and like, 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 like I can't do anything. Like like they, they might have like a Tengu and then you just poke, 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 poke and wear your opponent down. It's really good. So, um, yeah, that's the deck. Oh, and an extra, like, one card. And oh, well, actually, no, Utopia. I mean, you know, obviously the Stardust for, uh, Starlight Boat. Um, so that's my deck. Uh, hope you guys liked it. Uh, comment in the comment section below. Yeah. Team Wattmore out.